Hi guys, this is tabletnews.com and I'm here with the Toshiba Drive tablet, a Honeycomb 3.1 device that I've unboxed for you previously. And now we're going to have a look at this hands, uh, this tablet that comes with a couple of unique applications. We're going to see them in a minute, but for starters, let me just uh, let you know that this display is a 10.1 inch screen with a 1280 over 800 pixel resolution. Also, this is a dual core Tegra 2 device with a 1 GHz uh, CPU, 1 GB of RAM, GPS, Android 3.1 as I said. It's 16 mm thick, so it's a pretty thick device that we got right here. It weighs 720 grams and it's got Bluetooth, Wi Fi, HDMI, full USB, a 5 megapixel camera on the side. This is the 5 megapixel camera. I'm talking about and the 2 megapixel camera up front. Also, it's got a very grippy back surface, really nice grip in the user's hands. The battery loads very fast, in about half an hour, you'll be ready, and it lasts for about 6 7 hours. And now, let me give you a tour of the device's design. As you can see, nothing special up front. Toshiba decided to place the camera right here with this metallic ring that unites both cameras on one side at the top we have some uh, LED stuff the on off button, the battery charging indicator and the Wi-Fi indicator right here so you have uh, here a speaker at the bottom of the tablet here another one so we got dual speakers on the left side of the device we have a locking mechanism that allows us to remove the case that I've shown in the, in the unboxing. On the right side we have quite a bunch of stuff. For example, we have the charging port, the 3.5 mm audio jack and behind this, this uh, lid we have the full USB port, the HDMI and the micro USB port. So here they are in all their splendor. And now what's left is the, let me just try to put this back in, is the top of the device, this is it. Here we have the on-off button, the volume button and the screen orientation lock mechanism. As I said, Android 3.1 with the classic uh, customization through widgets and everything that comes with it. Also movie, st movie studio, music applications the way the, these apps are shown, the classic interface, the notification area right here classic for Honeycomb once again but I'm sure you want to see what Toshiba did in order to customize this device that's already very heavy in my hand that's why I'm resting it on the table for starters I like the thing very much that I'm going to show you let me just enter Gmail we have a swipe keyboard available, virtual keyboard of course so if I want to start a new mail, here is the keyboard, very easy to use. So let's say that Steve Jobs has left Apple. Here it is, Steve Jobs has left Apple. Thanks to the swipe keyboard, it's easy. Today. Today. So this is a nice addition to the software of the device. Other than that, we have a ton of stuff that uh, Toshiba is offering us. Of course, apps. For starters, we have the App Place, their very own app store. But they have very few apps, about two, three in each section. We have Finance games and music, health and fitness, lifestyle, photo, video, productivity but there are too little to matter, sadly we have Groove Shark right here in games and music there are only two for example let's see creative and design two again but at least they're offering something different with the Thrive okay so this tablet comes with a lot of software as I said from Toshiba some of them uh, are worth big money if you download them on other tablets. For example, Toshiba also gives us Backgammon. 
it's in case you're familiar with the game and you like to play it you'll be happy of course back again one is no halo but you'll be happy with it it's pretty cool actually especially if you know how to play okay but enough about games we'll have time for that later and let's continue let's continue the list of applications that uh, Toshiba has given us there's also a book place in book place you can buy the latest books and read them in Toshiba's very own e-reader on the drive seems that this week we have some deals let's see the old dealer maybe you wanna buy it here it is the old dealer with details how many pages it has pretty simplistic book place let's see a book imagine that you just bought it and you wanted to read it to your kids here it is lots of illustrations your kids will love it and now let's get to a more serious book using this books application this e-reading application let's say Pride and Prejudice a bit of lag here that's not the only problem of this device the e-reading experience is great it's just like on any other tablet there are many settings for the the application for example brightness you have the night text size it's very interesting this line height this uh, interface is very interesting I'm used to having a drop down of options and other stuff like that so another unusual thing for Toshiba now let's continue the list of apps they offer they also have a file manager nothing big the name is pretty self-explanatory also have a unique media player here it is it's pretty cool actually it's got a server list if you want to stream something from your house it's got feeds it's got your gallery section it even shows my books which is very cool also they've given some games many types of card games I don't know why solitaire hearts but that doesn't interest us that much we also have Kaspersky right here I need to enter a secret code let me just enter it and I'll be right back okay so the tablet is protected database is up to date 30 days of license I can start a scan I can update I also have a ton of settings here in Kaspersky enable protection some protection settings tablets are after all portable PCs so we need an anti antivirus for them you can start a full scan folder scan memory scan so you're protected by Kaspersky problem solved now let's see what else we have here we have this mob music commercial if you love music you deserve the best music app for your phone meet Mog, named number one by billboard Time. don't really get why they included this don't know what their point is now let's see what other apps they offer NF nfs shift need for speed shift game also they offer printer share this is a finally a nice feature you find a wireless printer in your network you print stuff print documents pics whatever you want also we have quick office right here you're probably used to this app already other than that as I said the usual uh, store that Toshiba offers us the app place the book place so they did a nice job with uh, customization and now it's time to see what the browser can do I have to mention that this device comes with an interchangeable back as you can see it's very easy to remove trust me if you've seen our unboxing you know what I mean I'm reminded about this with their website I'm on uh, the web browser right now and it's rolling fast 
as you can see okay enough about this let's try to load tablet news to see how the browser is doing once again the sweat thingy is not perfect tabletnews.com here we go should load it immediately it did so here's tablet news everything loaded just fine scrolling works fine of course zooming is supported so in this section all good now I'm going to show you some YouTube the usual carousel let's see what's new in here let's say this clip seems interesting pretty artsy so we have YouTube in here that's confirmed what else as I said that media player now let's put it to action strangely enough it's starting playing an MKV file however it went in slow motion so don't get your hopes up sorry the video cannot be played it's in doesn't want to well it changed its mind at least it worked for a while now let's see what the V player is doing show you a sample of a movie nothing big just a sample I am number four this is the movie so the quality is pretty good once again 1280 over 800 pixel resolution 10.1 inch display okay got rid of that now let's listen, listen to some music to see the power of the speakers to witness it try some post rock let's see this one Pretty impressive, let me just take it louder. So it's working nicely and now it's time to have a look at the camera. But first, let me find something to use it with. Something with colors, like this Tic Tacs. Okay, let's enter the camera menu and see what we have here. Bunch of tic tacs. It's pretty strange to have the camera on the side. Just took a picture, should look nicely. Here it is. You probably want to see the effects we have available. We have some settings right here store location, focus mode. The focus can be set to infinity, macro, auto, exposure, picture size, picture quality, also some scene mode, night portrait auto, some color effects, mono, negative, solarize, sepia, some white balance, of course some zooming, the usual stuff, video recording is also available options include a time-lapse interval color effect video quality white balance and now it's time to see some of the pictures I've taken today these are videos let me just get back to the picture section so some photos I've taken today 
once again with lag they're pretty okay nothing big for a 5 megapixel camera nothing fancy okay enough about the tic tacs as I said this device has some problems they cannot be avoided one of them is the famous uh, sleep bug the tablet goes into sleep mode and it uh, never wakes up that's a pretty big bug if you ask me other than that it will restart all of a sudden while charging it has happened to me three times over the past days and now what else can I show you it's time for the apps of course but let's see Google Maps before that although I'm sure it looks just fine it has already found me let's zoom in looking good as usual nothing fancy so as I said it's time for the apps I have some very cool apps for you um, let's start with the cardiograph this is extremely extremely cool it's an app designed for a phone but it works on the tablet as well so this is it you simply place your finger in front of the camera that's on the back right here and it will start reading your pulse through the finger someone's nervous whoops I move my finger it seems okay so you get the hang of it you simply use to measure your pulse a pretty original application if you ask me and now let's move on to other stuff we have here Google Listen a service that allows you to enter streaming uh, sections on the web let's see popular searches let's say Wall Street Journal and let's say we listen to the Wall Street Journal these are podcasts you can use the app Google Listen to listen to them let's see what people are talking if you run out of money you're legally obligated to provide unemployment benefits and that means that they are trying to the federal government who uh, is sort of offering them loans and funding the programs that give people their unemployment check what comes next for them is really tricky because so nothing this seems boring about unemployment and stuff sad topic and now let's check out the need for speed shift application that comes with the device let me just find it here it is it's controlled just like the one on the blackberry playbook you tilt the device and the environment around you tilts with it the sensation of speed let me just take the volume down a notch Overall this is a good tablet but it's a bit thick and heavy It's pulled down by its uh, flaws For example the sudden restarts Or uh, the bug I mentioned, the sleep mode bug Maybe a software update will solve it all and everybody will be happy Now let's do a quick break So in the end you have here a pretty good tablet from Toshiba but one that has flaws and the extra apps are not enough to make me buy it. I grip it a bit. So guys this is it, this is the review of the Toshiba 5 a tablet that could have been great but with its sleep mode problems and huge charger and 6 hours and 7 hours of battery life it didn't come with me so better luck next time to keep on well this is it, this was the review bye bye guys and hope you stay on tablet news